Greetings from Ko Ben Yang, Thailand. I am in the southeast of Thailand where I'll be spending the next week with Sia, my mom, and Sia's aunt. Right now I'm standing in my oceanfront beach hut that costs about 37 Canadian a night. That's about a thousand baht per night. So it's a little bit of a splurge for here, but I mean, I thought that we should treat ourselves a little bit and I will show you exactly what we've gotten ourselves into. This is our bed and that is the ocean out there. This is our balcony, we just had breakfast there. And the beautiful ocean. A must do when you're on the island is to rent a motorbike. So it costs 200 baht for 24 hours and I would definitely be careful. You have to be careful with who you are renting from. You gotta get a good energy from that person because a lot of people crash or mess up their bike and it costs them a lot. You have to leave your passport with the person who locks it up, that's totally fine, but if you screw up, you're gonna pay. So make sure you trust the person, they're not gonna like, chip you and say that you scratched the bike when you didn't. Take pictures of the bike before you take it out, um, or even a video. That game? Oh, okay. oh, it was great. It's important to be wild and free on a motorbike. How you feeling? Oh, that's a great reaction. Okay. <laughs> we just took our motorbikes to the market here. And what'd you get, Sia? I got chicken on a stick, which is now done, and pad thai. Everything cost me a dollar fifty. Great deal. I'm not too sure. I can't remember the name of these, but they look like little pancakes almost. Almost, they're made from coconut, and they are amazing. If you find these, you gotta get them. You gotta try them. They're cool. Um, that was twenty baht, so that's like it's less than a dollar. I got a massive bag of mango seed. There's probably about 15 in here. Back home, this would be, I don't even know, $20, $30. It cost me $2. Coconut chicken. You ever had coconut shrimp? Well, this is coconut chicken. Yeah. a lovely lunch, lunch dinner, liner, uh, with this incredible view. It doesn't get much better than this. Coconut water, fresh coconut right from the coconut. <laughs> I have to give a shout out to this restaurant that we just ate at. It's called Nine Million Restaurant. The food was incredible. Some of the best food that we've had here in Thailand. And look at the view, right there along the ocean. It's on the southwest coast of Koh Penang, one of the islands, and it's run by an awesome family. Food was delicious, fair prices, great view. Just come here and try for yourself. <coughs> oh my goodness! This is ridiculous. This is not an ad for Coke. Six years ago, Kristen and I were in Thailand and we found the perfect spot to stay, but it's a secret. I'm gonna show you guys. When we were here, there were 10 bungalows. Each had a mattress, had some electricity, had a hammock outside, and a bug net. They've upgraded with some new bungalows, but I'm gonna take you guys on a little tour of what our bungalow looked like. Now, keep in mind, it was, it is still 150 baht per night, which equals out to like five Canadian dollars per night. This is one of the bungalows. Very simple, very small. So this is it. Simple bed. Bug net, we had a window leading outside. We had some shelves here, that's where we put all of our stuff. 
And look at the floor. You can see through to the ground. Super simple living. It was so amazing to find this place. The owner keeps it a, a secret. It's not advertised anywhere. You won't find it online. Uh, I'm not even going to tell you what the name is of this place, but if you want to find out, message us directly. Send us a Facebook message or comment below, give us your email, and we'll send you the details of how to get here because you have to know someone who's been here to stay here. We just took our motorbikes down to Hadron and this is where the full moon parties happen. Beautiful beach, the water is amazing. These incredible cliffs filled with palm trees and other green trees and beautiful cliffs, great restaurants. People are just chilling right now, but as soon as the full moon party comes along, it gets crazy. To Good Time Hostel. I'm gonna take you on a little tour where we've been spending the last couple of nights. Really like this place. It's super chill. The cabin that we're staying in is awesome, clean, it smells really good. So this is our cabin. We've got a nice hammock set up here with a bench, and I'll take you inside. This is where we've been spending the last couple of nights. It's a four bed, two bunk bed cabin. There is a volleyball net and there is a bar right over there. This hostel comes equipped with two very adorable doggies. This one is just, you know, chilling. Island life. One of the best things about Thailand are getting massages. So you can get a massage right here on the beach. It's a lot of hammocks. Ooh, and this is one of my favorite things over here. There's a swing. And check out, this is like the best room on this whole property. A tree house. Does not get better than this. This place also has a pool. For a four bedroom cabin that comes with our private shower and toilet, costs 13 Canadian per person per night. Not bad. It also comes with air conditioning, which is really nice when it is super hot out. We're now at the night market in Koh Penang. This is only here on Saturdays. And here you can get fresh fish that they just caught. You can get desserts, you can get fruit, you can get smoothies made, you can get like sticks of meat. There, there's tons here. It's so good and it's affordable. This is where the locals come. This is where you guys want to come. What I am concerned about are all these electrical cables that I'm currently walking over. Yeah. Uh. Uh. Doesn't seem very safe. Who's regulating this stuff? 